Yeah, it was fantastic today on the day of the shakedown to see the first car in 2010 and now the last car of the decade. Shakedown went well and uh, it was a, a decade of uh, many ups and downs. It started with more downs, but then we, we recovered and in, in 2013, uh, from then onwards, um, we, had a, we had a very um, remarkable run of six consecutive championships. We were just chatting uh, over lunch uh, about some races in the last year and I can't remember. It's like, oh, it's, like it's erased from my memory. It's all about today, um, clocking the miles, um, get the filming done and the shakedown done and going to Barcelona. So it's, uh, it's really only looking forward. The biggest challenge will be to concentrate in running well in 2020 but equally having an eye on next season uh, which uh, sees some fundamental uh, uh, changes to the regulation but you mustn't take your eye off the ball and that is the 2020 championship. Oh, he's in very good shape, uh, he had a really good winter, uh, he's in best of spirits, eager to get back in the car. Um, I think uh, we saw that he was very strong at the beginning of the season and that continued throughout the season. He was a, a, a strong um, contender and competitor to Lewis and I have no doubt that this will continue this year. Yes, it's very important because uh, uh, financial reality um, happens everywhere. Uh, the auto industry is in a... Uh, massive transformation phase and uh, phase, and then bringing somebody in like uh, Jim and his partners is uh, is amazing. They were here today uh, when when the car is you know really uh, really tested, and uh, for us a tremendous partnership. Uh, well, I say that I think that uh, the discussions are uh, pretty normal. Uh, it's a, it's a big contract, Formula 1 has become a big business and uh, uh, eventually, hopefully, we'll reach a, reach a phase where um, uh, things become more concrete. Same as usual, just enjoying your off time, uh, time with family, time with uh, some friends, training, and trying to you know, make sure you're centered and recharged for the season. We've just got to keep going. We've got to try and win some more. It's not so easy. And each year it gets harder and harder for us as the competition gets better and stronger. And, um, and obviously we're still in the same rule uh, regulation period. So the others have had time to catch up, try and catch up. So um, I think you're going to see the closest season that you've ever seen. Wow, I'm extremely proud. I, I got signed to Mercedes when I was 13, so you know it's um, it's great to each year come back and um, kind of cement, continue to cement the the trust and belief they had in me when I was that young, and um, be a part of this incredible family and the history and the heritage. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of uh, testing in general, but I mean, the, the open season testing is really uh, quite good because, I mean, that's where you learn about the car. That's where you put the car to the test. You, you prove, prove out reliability, uh, actual speed, get an understanding of the balance of the car. Now, with two days less, you know, years ago, we had unlimited testing. And then it got dropped to something like 20 days, and it went to 14, and it came to eight, and now it's down to six. So that just puts a lot more pressure on us in terms of, uh, how efficient we are with with our practice sessions and how much we you know hopefully we don't have reliability issues but we, it's all about accumulating the most mileage through that period so. for sure you always have to raise the bar uh, even though it must buy best year ever um, I felt there's still lots of margin to improve in many areas many weaknesses of mine and try to make my strengths even even better so 
It's all fine details here and there, but I think we have a good clue based on last year that what kind of things I need to be still working on and what I can do better, and I know I can. So I look forward to achieving my targets. Yeah, for sure. You know, we are here to be um, breaking records and we're very really motivated for this year again because we know that competition is going to be super tough. Um, nothing is going to come easy, as we've seen. So uh, I can feel a very motivated bunch of people. I, I think for, for the drivers, we, we really we need to current focus on the current moment. You know, we need to be present, we need to be maximizing every situation that you are in right now. Um, obviously, after each session, after each race, we give all the feedback we can in terms of the future as well. And I think it's up to the team to really balance that out, how they, how they proceed with the planning and uh, building the, the new car versus still focusing on, on this year's car. So that's kind of their job, we just drive. In the shakedown, the main thing is just to see everything works, you know, and uh, everything did. It's always a good start and just got a good feel of the car as well. Nothing did nothing funny, you know, it felt pretty grippy and good power. So, you know, it's a starting point. And also as a driver to get a bit of a feel, to get a bit of a feedback to the team that um, mostly on, on the setup that what we should start with in Barcelona. And um, I'm sure the engineers are going to be busy the next few days looking at all the, the, all the data we collected. I have to say it felt good, you know, you can't say much more than that really, it's early stages, it's cold, um, it's uh, different tyres to what we race with, but um, everything, it felt, you know, quite reactive and, and smooth and just did whatever you kind of asked for, uh, nothing funny, so it's a good start.